Hi guys, I'm going to have another go at one of my 15 by 15 by 15 projects. Uh, that means I've got to make a car that is less than 15 centimetres long, less than 15 centimetres wide, and less than 15 centimetres high. And what I'm going to do in this project is to use this mouse trap as the power source. And the wheels, I'm going to use these, they're the spools out of one of these old VHS video cassettes, which you may or may not have seen. That's what we used to have before we had CDs and DVDs. Now these wheels, they're actually a little bit big for what I want to do, but if, if I overlap them, they do come in at about 14.5 centimetres, so I've got a little bit of play. So they're going to have to fit, you can see I've used this mouse trap before once, that's why it's got all hot glue over it. But they're going to have to fit quite close together to get within our 15 centimetres. But we'll give it a try, see if we can make it work. I've just marked, with red pen there, exactly where the lever arm comes across. Because that's where, on the other side, I'm going to fit the axle. And then I'm going to cut a slot up here so that I can attach a piece of string or fishing line to there and that will feed down through there and wrap around the axle. Right, very slight change of plan Instead of cutting the slot that I was thinking of doing, I've drilled a hole instead. That should maintain the strength of the mouse trap then. I've also drilled a couple of very small holes there and attached these metal eyes. And that's where my flower cane axle will go through. I need to drill a very little hole straight through the axle and then the fishing line that I'm going to tie around the arm there will go down through the hole and through the hole in the axle and then you twist the axle to actually wind up the fishing line and that will bring the arm over. Right, just hot glue in the wheels onto the axles You can see, but I've measured that just to make sure it's just under the 15 centimetres again. So I need to hot glue this axle under there at the right position to make sure that our overall length is under 15. And then we can go and test run it. Right then, ready to go and give it a test run. I've hot glued the, hot, the front axle in place. The back axle is in place. I've put bits of balloons over the back wheels to try and give them some extra grip. Because I know we're going to have trouble with wheel spin because it's such a small lightweight car. That's the fishing line is attached to the arm and it's cut to just the length that there's just enough to go through that little hole in the axle. So let's go and see if it'll go. All right, all wound up, ready to go. The 
the full five meters of my kitchen. That's quite satisfying. Summary time. Right, this is my 15 by 15 by 15 project. Number three. 15 by 15 by 15 means it's under 15 centimeters long, under 15 centimeters wide, and under 15 centimeters high. And what we've got is a mouse trap car. Uh, the wheels are from a VHS tape cassette. Well, in fact, they're from two tape cassettes because you get two per cassette. Um, the axles are my flower canes. At the back, they're held in place with a couple of uh, screw eyes, I think they're called. At the front, it's just a ball pen tube that I've hot glued to the mouse trap. We've got a short length of fishing line tied to the arm that goes down through that hole, and there's a very small hole. Don't know if that's visible. Just there, in the axle that that fishing line goes through, and then as you wind up the axle. The fishing line's caught in place as it's wound around. Uh, you'll notice I've got lots of pretty balloons on the wheels because there was not enough grip uh, with the bare wheels, so I've put cut balloons up and stuck them on the back wheels and on the front wheels. I don't normally put them on the front wheels, but I was having trouble with it um, moving around instead of going straight forwards, it was shooting off to one side. So I put the rubber bands, uh, rubber bands, put the balloons on the front wheels to help them grip to keep them going in a straight line. And that's it. So that's number three completed. We did five meters, that's the length of my kitchen. That's all I can test. I can't test any further because I haven't got any further to go. But it hit the wall at the end, so it obviously would do more than five meters. I've no idea how much more.